Let me start off this video by saying that I absolutely love these boots. Regardless of the data we're gonna go over in this review, I will say subjectively that they feel incredible. My legs are the most worked and sore part of my body, which I'm sure is probably true for all of you. And every day, I sit in my recliner and I put these things on for about 30 minutes, maybe even longer, and I feel way better. So why not everyone get them? It's probably gonna be that incredible price tag of $900. I mean, that's pretty damn expensive. So let's get into the data so you can decide whether or not you wanna give these things a shot. Normatec boots have been around for quite a while. The inventor, Laura Jacobs, who was a physician and bioengineer, invented them to treat edematous, circulatory, and lymphatic conditions. If you've never heard of the word edematous, don't worry, I haven't either, or maybe I even forgot from studying it in undergrad, but it is the painful, excessive accumulation of fluid in your tissues. The invention, as written in their patent that was filed back in 1997, uses what they call peristaltic pulse waveform, where the air cells are filled sequentially to achieve proximal flow and to reduce backflow. So as the cells begin to squeeze at varying pressures starting at your toes, it's squeezing up the leg and decongesting the tissues. The different pressures along the leg are what's also promoting blood flow. It's kind of the same principle as massage. You squeeze, the pressure comes in, moves blood out, pressure released, new blood comes in. So these pneumatic pressure sleeves have been around prior to the Normatec boots. I mean, you can look at something like a blood pressure cuff that goes around your arm and you can see kind of the same principle there. But what made this invention over the prior products or what the legal patent term is prior art was the varying pressures or this peristaltic pulse waveform I mentioned earlier. And again, that's to promote the decongesting of tissues and blood flow. The sleeves can't simply remain at a constant pressure. It needs to act in like a massage-like fashion. So it's going from minimum and maximum pressures and varying in between and releasing. So that's what Laura Jacobs invented. And that's what's called out in the patented pulse technology on the box. So, I mean, this all sounds great, but what did the study say? And when we go there, it's a little back and forth. Recovery, especially efficient recovery, and use of over-the-counter devices for post-medical procedures is of high interest to many people. So let's first discuss the most positive one, and a huge disclaimer on this one, Normatec did fund 50% of this study, and it stated at the end that it had absolutely no impact on the results. Personally, I mean, I, I don't really have a problem with a company funding and having interest in a study because it's something necessary to validate products. It happens all the time. And in this specific instance, I believe in the integrity of the researchers. Whether you do is, you know, 100% your decision. Anyway, what did the study conclude? The study used 20 participants and put them through a high volume back squat workout. There were three workout days followed by three rest days, each day using the Normatec boots. The conclusion through a comparison of using the boots and not using the boots and performing a biopsy on the legs to measure molecular levels of various markers was that in fact, the boots did show actual recovery and attenuate muscular flexibility. All right, so you know, how about some other studies that weren't funded by the company we're reviewing? We're just gonna quickly and briefly talk about these because you know, going in depth, I don't think is absolutely necessary. It would make this an incredibly long video and it just doesn't seem you know, necessary. If you want more details, I've got links to the studies I've reviewed in the description below. So another study used eight college aid students and put them through periodic workouts. Some used compression sleeves continuously afterwards for recovery while others used the Normatec boots. What was found was that the delayed onset muscle soreness, range of motion limitations, and pain was far less in the subjects using the boots over compression sleeves. And time-wise, for compression sleeves, it requires all day wear, whereas the boots were only used for 20 minutes. Conversely, there's a couple of other studies the boots were found to have little to no effect. One showed that there was no measurable difference in glycogen, lactate reduction, or insulin concentrations versus not using the boots. The other is showing that the boots may have triggered a sympathetic nervous system reaction when used for recovery between workouts that was potentially the cause of increased blood lactate levels, which was detrimental for immediate performance. But what all the studies did agree on was that regardless of the outcome, timing of use, specific levels of whatever the focus was in our bodies, the boots did in fact promote or improve blood flow. One medical case report even showing it was effective in preventing post-op complications in one patient because of this. So do they work or don't they? It's really tough to land definitively on an answer. 
My takeaway from studies was that they do work and promote the reduction of DOMS or delayed onset muscle soreness and promote blood flow in the same fashion that a massage is supposed to. Subjectively, there are some concerns that this was kind of a placebo effect. For my use, I, I don't think it's a placebo. These things do in fact feel great on my legs. Regardless, personally, they're my absolute favorite recovery tool I own. I enjoy massages, especially leg massages, but the cost of even getting a massage a couple times a month can be upwards of $150, not including the tip. Meaning that in six months time, using these twice a month would potentially recoup my costs. But I mean, I'm using these nearly every day. That's how I justify the price. I really enjoy making videos like this, but please know that the purchase of things like these products is 100% out of my own pocket. I'll still get full body massages, but in between, I get to enjoy further benefits from the use of these boots. Lastly, I know they're out there, and I have used cheaper boots, the names I don't want to specifically call out. I will just say that one, I prefer covering in the knee, the compression in that area feels great, I think it's my favorite part, and as someone with a history of bad knees, I want it there. And two, consistent and strong enough compression was an issue with the cheaper models. I can't personally speak yet to the durability of these Normatec boots, but I will say that I've spoken to industry professionals that have used them numerous times a day for extended periods on a bunch of clients and have reported no issues. So hopefully that helps you make a decision and as always, smash that like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.